Hello and welcome once again to a slideshow from the Cornish Radio Amateur Club and today we'll be looking very briefly at bipolar transistors and this uh, video leads on from the uh, introduction to semiconductors um, which you should preferably watch first. So in the introduction to semiconductors uh, we came across the concepts of uh, electrons and holes and we represented a diode uh, with that diagram that you can see there with negative charge carriers being in n-type substrate that is perhaps silicon or germanium that is uh, appropriately doped so that um, it has uh, negative charge carriers and um, p-type substrate um, being represented as the green holes there or sometimes the uh, plus sign and that has um, positive uh, charge carriers. Now if we extend the diode on and add an extra bit of n-type substrate on it uh, we end up with a um, bipolar um, transistor. Now uh, with a bipolar transistor the central bit or the base, the p-type substrate, is very thin compared with the uh, emitter and collector, the two pieces of uh, n-type substrate that are on either side. And on the screen there you can see the schematic symbol for a uh, NPN transistor and the B, the base, the C, the collector and E, emitter, are shown. Now, if we collect the transistor into a circuit, like that, um, if the switch that you can see approximately in the centre of the screen is open, there will be no current going into the base from that small cell shown in the base circuit. And therefore, you will end up with two depletion regions. One there and one there. So we have depletion regions there between the base and the emitter, between the base and the collector, and so no current will flow. As we close the switch and apply a voltage between the emitter and the base, a small current will flow, which is the base current. And this current will have the effect of biasing the transistor into conduction. The minus, or the negative, uh, from the uh, battery in the base circuit will push the negative charge carriers towards the uh, positive charge carriers and the uh, positive on the uh, battery in the base circuit will do the same but in reverse. It will push the positive charge carriers towards the neg negative charge carriers. And this will have the effect of allowing a current to flow through the transistor. And there we have it. Go through that again quite briefly. There's the bipolar transistor. We've said that the base region is very thin. There's the schematic symbol for a, uh, an NPN transistor. If it was a PNP transistor, the arrow would point into the transistor. For an NPN, it points out of the transistor. That's the arrow on the uh, emitter leg of the schematic symbol. If we put the uh, transistor into a circuit with a battery providing, potentially providing, but not at the moment because the switch is open, but with a battery potentially providing a voltage between the emitter and the base, um, with the switch open, 
uh, current won't be able to flow between the emitter and the collector, as a, you know, a collector current won't be able to flow because of the two depletion regions that occur. However, when the switch is closed, these depletion regions close up and now current can flow from the end type on the left and this is um, showing conventional current flow. Current can flow from the end type on the left uh, right round from the emitter through to the collector. So if you like this is showing the transistor as a switch and there we are showing the current. In the next video we'll start to look at some of the characteristics of transistors. Thank you very much.